who are like, you know, um, just have this mask of something they think. Like a facade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I think to be true to, true to yourself, you know, is the most important thing. And um, like I said, everyone is, is unique in their own way. So you try to find that uniqueness and, and be you, you know, just be you and try not to, ha uh, try not to, I want to say, um, don't think that this is what people want you to be. You be you. You be you in your own way and find that confidence in yourself, regardless of what that is. And, um, and you take it from there. You know, if, like I said, if you have that passion and if you're confident and you have self-esteem, you know, um, and then there is, I truly feel that there is nothing that you can't do. When you set your mind to it, you know, and, and, and you do it, then why not? It's really cool. <laughs> <laughs> I like how it's you the most like, important thing. Yeah. I like how you're encouraging people to like demolish this furious facade that like this personality yeah. that you're they're putting out. Mm. Maybe it's not actually you mm. inside, so maybe you should take time to consider what is actually mm. you and what's not. Yeah, you know what I love? I love to see like when I'm at jobs or I'm out there and I see like I love it when I see, you know, the real size beauty where I see like big voluptuous women, you know, um, who are like strutting and so confident in a bikini or a swimsuit. I'm like, you go girl. Yeah. You know, yeah. it's not all Definitely. about like, you know, the hour shape body or whatever, you know, hey, if you want to be skinny and you work out like a dog because you want to be beautiful and not beautiful, but you want to be slim and, and that's you, well then, hey, go for it. But if you're not, not everybody has to look like this, right? I work out hard to, to, to stay, you know, this shape because I love eating, right? He knows, you know, <laughs> we eat a lot, you know, but um, I love it when, when Beauty starts from within. Beauty is confident, mm -hmm. you know, and um, yeah, so hey, I love it when I see someone who walks around with pink hair and, you know, and combat boots and, you know, and then, hi, so it's kind of just like timid, but like dresses, you know, to kill. It's just like, I love, I love the diversity that I see out there, you know, and slowly but surely it's, it's being more and more. Mm. Like how you mentioned about like how pageantry is the threshold to being recognized mm -hmm. by the industry and like one thing that I would like to point out is like sometimes countries in the status quo are like polarized mm. because like they are too into the competition when it's actually like for because they're representing like mm, a certain mm. country and they're too like influenced somehow. You know sometimes it's a shame that um, it, it is also business driven. Yeah. It's also a money making business, right? We, we can't forget that and we can't, you know, um, just not, not, not um, know that, right? Uh, realize that. But um, at the end of the day, you still want a beauty queen that represents um, something that, that is not just all about image or the outer you know nowadays it's so much it's so difficult to be a beauty queen i think if today i wanted to compete i find it so difficult because you have to be a good speaker you got to have the good you know you got to know your your um social issues global issues you've got to um you've got to be able to edit videos and and be a camera person and do your own hair and makeup and know how to sew your dress and it's just like everything I'm, and i'm thinking i don't know how these girls do it nowadays you know it's like gang i'm don't gang ting ting up but um but it is a business a money making thing uh business and um but at the end of the day you want somebody to represent the minor minority um, to be the voice of the minority of the different 
problems and you know why because you're the most you're Miss Universe so anywhere you go people will follow and people will look at what you listen to what you're saying and look at, at who you're wearing what you're wearing you know so it's it's um there's a pros and cons to to everything the pageantry industry might be like economic orientated mm. as like similar to like other industries mm -hmm. as well so what do you what is your criteria that you use to evaluate when you're like the judges on Miss Universe Thailand, Miss Tiffany. Well, each each uh, each platform has a different criteria, oh. right? Of yeah. what they're looking for. But at the end of the day, you want somebody who's confident, sure. somebody who is a good speaker, mm -hmm. somebody who's intelligent, somebody who looks good, somebody who can carry themselves well, somebody who can do lato ing, you know, not having to have a massive entourage, you know. <laughs> follow you with everything so you know I think I think this is most of the, the qualities uh, that uh, most of the beauty platforms uh, require or want uh, in, in, in their beauty queen or man or you know person but at the end of the day it's it's brains so beauty and brains you go together. Yeah. Yeah. More now. Maybe not so much before. Like not 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 when I was Miss Thailand in 1992. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it wasn't so much about it. I just had to answer one or two questions. That was it. Why do you think it has evolved? What, like, because the what? world has evolved. Okay. Because there's so much information out there, easy access, and so you know, before mm -hmm. you wanted to get information, you had to wait for the news on TV. Oh. We had to wait for the morning newspaper. Now it's like by second, by millisecond, everything's just changing the law. Well, like you refresh your page, there's like ding, 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 news, <laughs> right? And then how do you know what's fake news and what's real news, yeah. right? Now, when you want to read something, you gotta check it out, check it, check, check and check again. Is that real? Because people are, you know, um, like they're just, why would you do fake news? I don't. I don't get it. What do you get out of that posting fake news? I, more of the drawbacks of social media, spread of misinformation. Why? What do you? What do you get out of that? I don't get it. Right. You 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 spread news that someone's died. Why? 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 What do you? I don't. You know. It's like anyway. Yeah. People. Do you also think that the values that are present in today's like beauty queens also transfer? to like when you're the leader of a company, like to leadership roles? Like what are um, I think it goes both ways. You know, um, um, it, it depends on what you're looking for and things like that, you know, but, um, but I think pageantry is kind of like more like um, to buy tang, more like um, um to be famous, I mean, you know, to be a leader, yes, but more, 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 not business-wise, not like a leader as in CEO of a company that runs a company, you know, uh, manages hundreds of people, things like that. But as when you're a beauty queen, it's more like uh, you're an idol, you're somebody, you're somebody famous where people will listen to you more than somebody who is just your average Joe, right? <laughs> right? Yeah. True. So it comes with celebrity, mm -hmm. being a celebrity, being someone famous, you know. So it's kind of kind of like that, yeah. Mm. Out of all of this, what is one thing you wish you knew when you were younger or someone you wish someone had told you that has significantly impacted your life? They did tell me this, but I didn't listen. <laughs> My mom said school is important, stay in school, but I didn't. I graduated from high school and I figured, oh, oh, can't be bothered, go to uni. So I, 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 didn't go to, I didn't go to college, I didn't graduate from uni. I barely um, was able to graduate from high school. I was a child, I was a child delinquent. I, you know, I grew up in the hood in New York City um, and um, I hung out with all the wrong people. You know, I was kind of like, yo, a gangster and, you know, I, and, um, and I didn't look at school being important. And I really wish I 
did go to school because all the businesses that I tried to do, I could have managed it better and maybe I would have had more success business-wise than career, celebrity, acting, whatever-wise, you know. And um, yeah, so I really regret not going to, to finishing my education. Yeah, so my mom did tell me, but I didn't listen to my mom. I should have. If so there is one message you really want to tell us, we Go to school. <laughs> Stay in school. <laughs> yeah, listen to your mom and dad. Yeah. So, so from a high school dropout, how did you get into acting? Well, I didn't drop out. I almost dropped out, oh, but I managed almost. to just almost, <laughs> almost, almost. Yeah, yeah, almost, <laughs> almost. And um, I, I um, was approached by um, some friends who who were doing. Uh, who, who had a production company, and they said, oh, you should try um, Lenacon. I was like, no, so Papa, I can't. I can barely speak Thai. I, can't, I couldn't even read it. And they're like, no, no, we think you can. So I went to, act, I did some acting lessons and then wrote everything in karaoke and then, you know, and taught myself how to read Thai. And now, today, I can read Thai. But, um, and, um, and then just had a passion for it. And so, yeah, and then passion. got into acting. Like you said, self-learning is important self -learning nowadays. Is important. Do you have any like videos or documentaries or books that you may recommend to some of us? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Or films. Yeah, or films. Yeah. Oh. Oh goodness. Don't watch any of my soap operas. <laughs> <laughs> That's my no I'm joking. Um no, you know, it's just if you want to be an actor, an aspiring actor, you just gotta watch a lot of movies watch a lot of uh, plays, go see theaters, you know, um, um, take acting lessons and things like that. That's, that's the, how you, um, you learn. That's it, that's all I can say. I mean, on the top of my head, I can't really um, suggest anything, but you know, um, yeah, just, just, just learn, learn from the best. And all you can do is just watch and, and evaluate and yeah. Yeah. Uh, are there any like particular parting advice that you'd like to give other than like staying in school <laughs> and okay. education is important? Um, so advice, I'd like to say that, um, you know, being a teenager is not easy, right? Um, I, I had a tough teenage, uh, tough years growing up. Um, uh, being raised in in America, I was born and raised there. My brothers were born and raised there, and you know, you you spend you spend like what five four or five hours at home with your parents. So if you're Thai or you're Asian, you're just four or five hours in that Thai culture, and then you leave the house, and then you're like you're American or you're you're English, you're British, whatever, you know. But all I wanted to say is is that. Be proud of who you are, regardless, you know, if you're half British, half Thai, you've been Lukung or you're full Thai, you know, just find, find your uniqueness. It's so important. Um, and I've learned that through my students that, um, you know, um, I would like you to be able to look at yourself in the mirror and see the smart, the gorgeous, the handsome, the uh, cute, nerdy, you know, whatever you are, whichever style you are, you're unique in your own way. And don't ever let anyone bully you or tell you you're not good enough or you're ugly or you're fat or your dad is old or you're, 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 you're not Thai or whatever. Don't let anyone discourage you. You know, um, I think it's horrible that there are people out there that are being hurtful, um, to be hurtful, you know. But um, everybody's beautiful and unique in your own way. And anytime you need any type of empowerment, maha kuke dai leka. That's why I like
Not even, it doesn't even have to be news by Mitini. Just DM me. I get a lot of kids who still today, we do um, short uh, workshops and stuff, and they're still messaging me, you know, asking for, um, you know, I can call you now, I can call you now, I can I I get a lot of that. And I just do a little video, you know, or send them a little message or a little heart. You know, I think it's just uplifting. And um, yeah. That, that message really creates like this sense of relatability since like I also reached out to you. Yes, yes you DMs, have. And yeah. like your message and your like last phrase that you left for me keep shining Aww. really like, yeah. It, it still lingers in my Aww. head till this day. That's great. Yeah, yes, yeah. yeah. It, it, you know, sometimes just a few words or that little heart or smiley emoji goes a long way. You know, I mean, because uh, maybe because people see see me as a celebrity, they feel like you know unrelatable, whatever. But you know, actually, um, I actually do really care. You know, I actually really do, and it's my way of giving back because I feel like I am. I feel so lucky to be where I am today and have the things that I do today. Is because of fans, of people who watch my movies or watch my soap operas, or just you know like it when I bitch on the face Thailand or whatever but you know to be able to have someone like you guys reach out you know and um, to see that you have this passion and and you could just be sitting at home playing Roblox or <laughs> or whatever they do nowadays or you know play but you're trying to make a, a difference you know and I like that so that's why that's why I say keep shining Thank oh, you. Very sweet. Yeah, to all of you, to all of you, make a difference, because you are our future. Thank you so much. Yes. Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for this you. interview, and I hope Thank you audiences also have gleaned invaluable insights from Kids' personal journey. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye.